In this video, we will take a look at the Timeline tab. To access the Timeline tab, find it on the left-hand side of the screen. The Timeline tab is where you perform most Mosaic programming. It is within this view that you determine fixture groupings and orders, and create effects and scenes that will play across them. The following objects appear in the Timeline view. Fixtures, if you expand your groups. The groups themselves. Any pixel matrices that you might have created and eventually scenes. We'll talk about scenes in a later video. In timelines, you create dynamic, time-based effects and layer multiple effects called presets on top of each other and after each other. At the top, you have the timeline bar. This allows you to create new timelines, delete timelines, manage them, and set our properties. We also have options for hold at end, loop, and flag. We then have our zoom commands, whether or not we view transitions, the ability to lock our edits, and our playback controls. The last two are for output options, and we'll talk about that in a later video. To add a new timeline, click on the New button in the front. This will create a new tab at the top, similar to how we saw layouts get created. Each timeline then has the ability to be named. I'll call this one our Main. And then you can set its properties. To select properties, click on the Timeline Properties option. Timelines can have a name, a number, they can be part of a group for use in triggering, a default length, background color, priority between timelines, which ranges from high to low, a time source, which is either internal or external, and a time offset. Each timeline can have its own independent set of these properties. So if you'd like all of your timelines for one area to be a specific color, you can come into here, select that color, and the background will change. If I create a new timeline, I can come back into my properties and set that color again. This is a great trick if you're going to be making a bunch of different timelines for the same area. Just like the Layout tab, you can close and open your timelines. If you want to right-click, you have the option for Close Other Tabs and Close All Tabs. Remember, if you close them, you have to bring them back using the Manage option. And you can bring them back in any order, or you can reorder them by simply dragging around the Timeline tab. On the right-hand side is our Group, Matrix, and Scene options. Group presets can only be applied to groups, and Matrix presets can only be applied to pixel matrices. To add a preset to a timeline, simply drag and drop. Every preset has options for time and transition, and then individual properties for each particular preset type. We'll talk about the time and transition in a different video, and then a video for each one of these different preset types.